All right, March is colorectal cancer awareness month. Very treatable condition with a high survival rate. We're joined now in the studio by Dr. Hopkins Sankanini, an interventional gastroenterologist at MedStar Franklin Square Medical Center. Doctor, thanks so much. Yeah, my pleasure. All right, so let's talk about colorectal cancer. What are, what are you talking about? What part of the body does that refer to? So, uh, colon is the large bowels or large intestine. And uh, it's, uh, it's a bottom part of your digestive system. And uh, that's what we're referring to as when we say colon. And, uh, you know, cancer is a tumor which grows in your colon, i.e. large bowel or large intestine or rectum, which is the bottommost part of your colon. Mm -hmm. So how's it diagnosed? So uh, most of the times, colon cancer is, uh, at least in the early stages, it's uh, asymptomatic. Mm -hmm. So that's why we do screening uh, to get hold of this uh, colon cancer at an early stage. Also, we look for polyps, which are small growths. If left alone, they can become cancer. So uh, that's why we you know, encourage uh, people in general to get screening for colon cancer. But if there are advanced cancers, uh, they can get symptoms of change in bowel habits, mm -hmm. either constipation, diarrhea. Uh, blood in the stool? Yes, blood in the stool, weight loss. Mm -hmm. You know, if, uh, these are the uh, few common uh, you know, symptoms apart from abdominal pain too. So by the time you have those symptoms, you may already have it, correct? Yes. And the goal is to prevent uh, patients or in, in general population to go to that stage and uh, get hold of them at an early stage or prevent the colon cancer. And so why is the, uh, the colonoscopy screen, why is that considered the gold standard? So uh, there are different tools uh, to get um, or diagnose or screen for colon cancer. Uh, however, colonoscopy, you can not only diagnose them, uh, you can obtain the tissue and also if, uh, if there are polyps which are like uh, precancerous uh, lesions mm -hmm. we can take them out so if, uh, that's why colonoscopy is a gold standard mm -hmm. and how often should you get when should you get it what is it 45 50 so, so if, uh, there's a debate going on it right now but right now as of this moment you know if, uh, the recommendation if you don't have any symptoms mm -hmm. you're a healthy person no family history of colon cancer then uh, you started at age 50. Okay. Uh, there are certain populations where you have to start at a younger age, especially if they have family history of colon cancer okay. in their uh, first degree relatives, like uh, parents or siblings. Uh, and uh, there's some debate that in African Americans, uh, you should start uh, colon cancer screening at age 45. Okay, all right. And doctor, didn't you want to say hi to somebody? Yeah, I, I wanted to say hi to my kids, uh, Myra and Anika. Thanks for letting me do that. Oh, I'm sure they'll appreciate it.